All right. So I've been getting a bunch of questions recently on how I do my photocopy effect. Um, kind of gives it that bitmappy, black and white look uh, that I use a ton. So to do this effect, you've got to go to Filter, Filter Gallery, and you're going to use a combination of three effects. Uh, you're going to use a stamp effect and then two grains. So the first effect you're going to want to use is a grain. Um, I normally go clumped on the bottom and then add a new effect layer and it automatically make it whatever effect was underneath or like already on there. So in this case we get another grain with clumped and I normally change this one to enlarged. And then for the third effect you're going to use this stamp which is under sketch and this changes the whole image to black and white and your light and dark balance like this affects obviously the amount of light versus dark colors uh, but I like to keep it at one at first uh, and the smoothness down to one the smoothness obviously smooths out all of the little dots in the image and it's so like a higher smoothness you're gonna have less dots lower smoothness you're gonna have more of those little dots in there so if we go down to here, this is normally when I start, I normally don't worry about the intensity and contrast until I've applied the stamp effect, because then you can really see what they're doing. Um, so you just kind of got to mess around with these until you get something that you like, and it's got the detail that you want. So I kind of want the, I want the sword to be pretty dark. So I might bump up the intensity here too, bring out some more dots. I normally like an int intensity between uh, like 30 and 70 for both my grain layers. Um, and then the contrast kind of varies, like it depends on the image you're using. But I kind of want some of the shadows to come out. So I'm going to bump up the intensity a bit. And I definitely want the detail in this skull face to be like pretty recognizable. So let's try. Oh, it's the opposite of what we want. So yeah, I just kind of mess around with these until I get something that I like. Um, that's looking pretty good. So yeah, there's like one version of that effect. Uh, it's super easy, pretty quick, so I uh, hope this helped you out, um, take it easy.